This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you about my personal news. Everyone around me is sick. My mom is sick. Kai is being really fucking annoying. Uh, don't worry. I'm gonna crate her. I'm gonna I'm gonna put her in a crate in a second. I'm gonna go upstairs and put her in a crate because she's going fucking crazy. Why is she going crazy? Because she's spoiled as a motherfucker. Okay. No dog is this much playtime from their owner. And and like, is this used to being out and about? I went to go work out this morning, and I told my mom to take care of her for a little bit. I told my mom to take care of her for a little bit. Okay. And the the unfortunate oh, the f ways for me to talk to start barking, by the way. Okay. Um, as I was saying, I went to go work out this morning. And basically in that process, while I was working out. She's literally waiting for me to talk, to bark. I'm not even kidding. Okay, now she's just barking in general. As I was saying, I went to work out this morning and I had a fucking headache while I was doing deadlifts. I don't know why. I come back and I find out, like, she's usually really good. Like, she poops outside. She's doing great overall. She's doing all the right things. I leave her with my mom for a little bit. And like she immediately, she was like, oh yeah, I brought her outside. And then she played. And then she came back inside and pooped in her office and then pooped in another fucking corner. She pooped inside twice. Is she vaxxed up yet? Um, she is a little vaxxed up. She got her first round of vaccines yesterday. I work from home. My office with two dogs get tons of attention for me during the day. You are creating the most attention seeking animal just because of the lifestyle. Yeah. It's a puppy in unfamiliar territory. No, that's not true. She's already comfortable with this territory. Fish turned out fine. Yeah. The difference is he wasn't online as a puppy in a fucking massive community like this. Like, look at how many fucking toys she has there. She's perfectly fine. She has more than enough toys to keep her, uh, like, mentally stimulated right there. The problem is she wants more than that. She doesn't just want to, like, play with toys. She wants to roam around. She's like a big roamer. So she's, like, desperately trying to get out and roam around and take shits all over the fucking house. You should give her like one at a time, not having her all her toys at once. I mean, those aren't even all of her toys. Those are just some of her toys. I'll sub if you, if you let her shit in your house. Brother, that boat has passed a long time ago. I've been letting her shit in my house non fucking stop. Yeah, it's good that you didn't give her attention when she was barking. She's clearly fine right now, but chat doesn't know that if you give dogs exactly what they're asking for every time, it'll develop horrible habits. Yeah, notice how, notice how she shut the fuck up. And is now just like back to playing with her toys and is perfectly mentally stimulated and is actually having a good fucking time. Moments ago, chat was like, you have to free her right now, you fucking asshole. Mm, really interesting. How the fuck did that happen? She's having a fantastic time. She's gonna do it again. Look, she like reminded herself that like she's in this cage, she's bored, she wants to play. What happens when she's too big to be in the pen? By that point, she will not be in the pen because she will be perfectly trained and not take shits inside the house. Yeah, people need to realize the pen is for their own safety as well. Eight month puppers can't eat shit they're not supposed to or fall. People literally don't understand that like if you if you leave an eight week old, eight, not even an eight month old puppy, an eight week old puppy alone in a fucking house, She's going to get into parts of the house. Like, she's going to start eating sockets and shit. Like, electrical sockets and wiring. And then zap herself. She's going to poison herself because she ate something that she wasn't supposed to. She's going to get into, like, a closet and, and eat chemicals. Like, you can't leave a, a, a baby like this alone. No matter how much she fucking gets annoyed. You know what I mean? She's going to do what she always does, which is push around a little bit, push the pen around a little bit, try to get my attention, fail to get my attention, and then inevitably lay down and, and fall asleep after she wears herself out.
Please be careful that she doesn't fall in the pool. She's never been in the back. And she will not be in the back anytime soon. I will not allow her in the back anytime soon. Has she been socializing or are you still waiting on Vax? Yeah, uh, waiting on the vaccine. There's in the next three weeks, I'm going to get the second round. And then another three weeks, I got to wait for the third round of vaccines. And then eventually she'll be able to, after that, she'll go full blown socialization. So without further ado, let's get started. There's obviously some updates uh, for those of you who weren't watching. Aiden loss. Takes back. False copy strikes. Like she's like being annoying. Look, she's being a fucking brat on purpose. Do you see that? She's just like trying to eat the pee pads that she has right there for no reason. Like she's just being a fucking asshole. Like she's like forcing my hand to fucking. She's forcing my hand to like pay attention to her now, and it sucks. I don't want to do it, but I have to go over there and grab that from her. Is your noise gate off or is she that loud? No, my noise gate is not off. She's just that loud. Do a good job not paying attention and rewarding. Just try to redirect to the desired behavior. Exactly. What is the desired behavior? The desired behavior is that she doesn't fucking chirp and entertains herself in ways that she knows she can, which she's clearly demonstrated time and time again for all the times that she's not fucking crying. What do you mean? What is the desired behavior? The desired behavior is that she doesn't behave like a monster people are so worried about animal abuse that they let their animals abuse them no that's not the reason no i think i think that's an unfair assessment i think it's because a lot of people don't know and one they don't know any better and two this is like thousands of years of evolution that has made these dogs become there's a reason why i love this thing there's a reason why i love this thing with all my heart she's like genetically wired to make me love the thing you know what i mean like, think about it this way. I'm literally fucking taking care of her piss and shit. I, that would never happen in any other circumstance. I wouldn't do that for a human being. You know what I mean? I'd have to like literally love this fucking human being that I'm related to to be able to do that, you know? How about a child? Yeah, I mean, that's why, Lamau, that's why I said yes. Like, that's, that's why I said it. they would need to be like related to me, that I would need to like love it. You know what I mean? <laughs> 